and good afternoon to you. I'm Erica Ritchie. A break in turns deadly in Seekonk yesterday morning. This was a scene as it played out. The Bristol County DA says the suspect crashed the car and got into a gunfight with police. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer joining us now live from the site with the latest on this investigation. Brittany, good afternoon. Well, good afternoon to you, Erica. According to the district attorney, the car hit a curb on Route 6 and then flipped over onto its side and landed in this grass area here behind me. That's when the DA says the suspect started shooting at officers. Alicia Correa was met by dozens of police officers and a SWAT team on her drive to work Sunday. Asked the guy, the cop actually, if I could, like I work up there, what am I supposed to do? And he told me to park at a school and walk up and then I started seeing just so many cop cars. When Correa saw the flipped car with a broken windshield, she thought it was a bad accident. I started getting like nervous because then I seen I, then I seen the car and I'm like, oh my gosh, but soon found out it was much more than that. The Bristol County District Attorney's Office tells us a suspect broke into a Route 6 business. Responding officers found the man in another nearby parking lot. The suspect then fled and soon lost control of the car and crashed. The DA says two Seekonk officers arrived at the crash and were met with bullets from an AK 47 style rifle. It was insane like to have an AK. Um, I, I don't know. That's like a, something you see in the movies, you know, so that was shocking. The DA tells us the suspect shot at police officers, then returned fire. Once the SWAT team arrived, they determined the suspect was no longer a threat and found him dead inside his vehicle. A tough situation. You can't do that, you know, and it's just rough. They had to do they had to protect everybody else as well. So it could it could have hit someone else, you know, just casually running by. And the district attorney has not released the name of the suspect or the exact cause of death. They say this investigation is still extremely active. We're now live in Seekonk. I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.